You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India has a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Skyrim Zimik and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. With authorities doing their best to spread COVID-19 awareness among citizens, Samaritans and locals are also coming up with quirky ways and pieces of artwork to educate citizens regarding the virus. So today in our episode of My India, we will have a look at some similar examples to citizens whose artwork are turning out to be helpful in spreading COVID-19 awareness. Art has the power to influence masses. Great leaders and thinkers have always used illustrations and artworks in different ways to influence the mindset and lifestyle of masses. With the country battling the second wave of the pandemic, quirky pieces of artworks, cartoons, jingles and more such works are playing an important role in spreading awareness regarding the deadly virus. One such quirky campaign was recently launched in the northern city of Jammu where members of voluntary humanitarian organization roam around in the city and urge people to adhere to the COVID-19 guidelines. Members of the Red Cross Society, turned in coronavirus-themed helmets, roamed around the streets holding placards that contained messages urging people to maintain social distancing and use masks and sanitizers. ये है कि ये जैसे धीरे-धीरे गवर्नमेंट अब डील दे रही है लोग बाहर निकल रहे हैं अब लोगों को पता होना चाहिए कि साथ में हमारे केसेस भी बढ़ रहे हैं और डेथ्स भी बहुत बढ़ रही हैं तो हमारा यही है कि हमने आज मार्च निकाली है लोगों को अवेयर करें कि भाई अभी तक कोरोना खत्म नहीं हुआ है तो आप सारे अपने एसओपीस फॉलो करें मास्क डालें डिस्टेंस रखें मीनवाइल इन चंडीगढ़ सिटी एन आर्टिस्ट पेंटेड हिज गैराज डोर विद क्वाकी ग्रैफिटी to ignite a ray of hope in the hearts of people and express gratitude to the frontline workers who are risking their lives in the pandemic. मुझे लगा कि अपना गैराज का डोर है ये और इसी पे एक होप क्रिएट करने के लिए लिखा जाए कुछ बनाया जाए ताकि जब भी कोई आसपास गुजरता है उसको ऐसे लगे कि हाँ भाई होप है होप इस चीज की कि एक दिन ये सब कुछ ठीक हो जाएगा. होप इस चीज की कि जो लोग हॉस्पिटल में एडमिट हुए हैं वो ठीक होकर अपने घर वापस आएंगे तो एक होप उन सबके दिलों में जगाने के लिए मुझे लगा कि होप ही हमें लिखना चाहिए ग्राफिटी डिपिक्टिंग प्रिकॉशनरी मेजर्स अगेंस्ट द डेडली वायरस इज बिकमिंग अ कॉमन ट्रेंड इन इंडिया वेयर इन आर्टिस्ट इन फॉर्म ऑफ कलरफुल मैसेजेस पे ट्रिब्यूट टू द हेल्थ वर्कर्स एंड पुलिस पर्सनल्स इन द फाइट अगेंस्ट कोरोना वायरस Moving on to Jammu and Kashmir, where youngsters of different religious communities had organized a plantation drive on the occasion of World Environment Day to give out loud the message of religious harmony along with creating awareness regarding plantation of more and more trees. History has made it evident. When all men of a country stand united, regardless of their differences, no force is strong enough to stop the nation from prospering. Citing an example of the unshakable bond among youngsters of different religious communities in the city of Srinagar, a plantation drive was organized on the occasion of World Environment Day. Local youth, be it from Hindu, Muslim or Sikh community, joined the drive to contribute to a greater cause. The best part about today, I personally feel, is that a personal achievement is that where Kashmiri pundits, Muslims, me being a Sikh, we are all together. The cause which is joining us together is the environment. So this is what it is. आप देख रहे हैं किस तरह से यहाँ पे हम लोग अपने neighbour में ही कोशिश कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे plantation करने की. This is a very beautiful park, जो अभी थोड़ी इतनी अच्छी condition में नहीं है. हम कोशिश करेंगे कि थोड़ी सी शुरुआत करें और plantation करते रहें और अपने environment का ख्याल रखें. 
The plantation drive was organized at the Lal Chowk area of Srinagar, where youngsters of different religious communities were seen planting saplings. For preventing natural disasters and making Srinagar a much greener and cleaner city, these saplings were planted on the banks of River Jhelum. The initiative was also supported by the Indian Army, who joined hands with the youngsters and planted saplings along with them. Youngsters were happy to be a part of this event and get an opportunity to interact with their brothers and sisters from other faiths. Nature सब को एक साथ लेके आता है तो वही nature के nature को ही नहीं देखता कि कौन सिख है कौन हिंदू है कौन मुस्लिम है तो nature के साथ जुड़ के यही मैसेज पहुंचाना है let's make the you know Kashmir paradise again let's come together and join this venture. It is occasions like these that bring people of various faiths together at one platform and strengthen the spirit of unity and brotherhood. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. India has taken its vaccination drive to remote villages in tough terrains of Himalayan Jammu and Kashmir territory to vaccinate its citizens. Wearing protective overalls and carrying vaccine boxes, health workers and administrative officials were seen climbing steep hills to ensure that vaccination program covers everyone. In Anantnag district, administration is surveying nomadic tribe stands and conducting an on-spot vaccination drive for all those who had not gotten immunized. आज पहली बार डॉक्टरों की टीम आई है हम उनका बहुत करते हैं शुक्रगुजार करते हैं उन्होंने हमको सबको वैक्सीन किए Similar scenes were also witnessed in our remote village Padal of Samba district where local officials are conducting a sampling and vaccination drive. A group of rickshaw taxi drivers in the Indian capital of New Delhi is doing its part to help contain the country's raging coronavirus outbreak by converting their vehicles into makeshift ambulances to provide covid-19 patients with first aid services Ajay Kumar is one of the owners of the three wheeler makeshift ambulances who serve the patients and their families free of charge Like his fellow drivers Kumar strictly observes health protocols while working wearing safety goggles facial shield and protective suit throughout his shift even when temperature outdoors rises to 40 degrees celsius एक ग्रुप बना हुआ है ग्रुप में सब अपने एरिया में बैठे हुए हैं वो वहाँ से वहाँ से हमको मैसेज जाता है कॉल आती है फिर हम जाते हैं वहाँ पे कुमार स्टार्ट इज डेली फर्स्ट इट शिफ्ट एट अ हॉस्पिटल एंट्रेंस एट एट इन द मॉर्निंग एंड फिनिश इज एट एट पी एम आफ्टर विच अनदर ड्राइवर वुड कम टू रिप्लेस हिम द एम्बुलेंस फ्लीट नाउ कंसिस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी रिक्शा स्प्रेड अक्रॉस द सिटी द रिक्शा एम्बुलेंसेज कैन बी इजली आइडेंटिफाइड as their carriage is usually wrapped in large size photos of the fleet and printed with emergency call numbers in large bold text a public charitable trust in india's southern chennai city is distributing free food and gifts to draw the people to the vaccine center and encourage them to get the covid-19 doses the organization is providing free food including popular spicy rice dish biryani mask sanitizers and many other gifts hampered to attract the residents i am very happy to get my first shot today and uh, they are giving a free gifts and um, <clears throat> some bumper prizes and all so people please come forward to get your vaccination without any hesitation The number of beneficiaries has shot up by 8 times since the organization came up with the reward scheme. India has been inoculating its people with the AstraZeneca vaccine produced locally at the Serum Institute of India, Covaxin made by local firm Bharat Biotech and has begun rolling out Russia's Sputnik V. Moving on The COVID-19 pandemic has proved that strength lies in standing together and not surrendering to adversities. Examples of citizens coming together and joining hands for help and prayers were seen in different parts of the country in bygone months. 
in northeastern city of Imphal, different religious leaders came together at an interfaith meet to pray for healing and harmony in the world. Have a look. The COVID-19 pandemic has turned the entire world into a big family which stands by each other in all kinds of crisis and has each other's back in all adverse situations. In India too, people of all religious and socio-economic backgrounds were seen coming together, helping and motivating each other in different ways to boost the morale of commoners and COVID warriors. Recently, an interfaith prayer was organized in Imphal city of Manipur as a show of India's unified strength and brotherhood against the deadly virus, which was also attended by Biren Singh, chief minister of Manipur. Everyone accepted that divine is there, God is there. When people's by human uh, humanities face troubles and the earn bearable burdens we always pray to God it brings peace in mind it brings unity amongst the communities it brings the oneness to fight against such pandemic with spiritual strength that is why I organize this that all religious joint prayer the prayer meet was attended by leaders of different religious organizations like Archbishop Reverend Dominic Lumon, priests from Sri Sri Govindaji Temple Board, Jamiatul Ulema, Gyani Gurdwara Prabhanda Committee and many more. These priests together joined hands and prayed to the Almighty for healing and protection of all citizens from coronavirus. Religious leaders and representatives gave out loud the message of communal harmony and preached about oneness and unity. Bhagavan ne insan peda kiya, thik hai? Insan Bhagavan ne peda kiya aur dharm insan ne peda kar liye. Jo Bhagavan ka asal mein dharm hai na, wo jehi hai bhi jahan par bhi aap rehte ho, puri insaniyat ke tor pe, pure logon ka khayal rakhna hai. कोई सिख है कोई मुसलमान है कोई हिंदू भाई है वो अपने अपने तरीके से भगवान को याद करता है मैं पहले भी बात किया अगर मान लो हमने एयरपोर्ट पे जाना है जहां से बहुत रास्ते चले जाएंगे लेकिन हमारी मंजिल जो है एयरपोर्ट है रास्ता अलग-अलग हो सकता है लेकिन हमारा जो मनसा है हमारी जो इच्छा है जो भावना है वो केवल उस परमात्मा के लिए ही it is events like these that show India stands united and unshakable even in difficult times like that of a pandemic Jammu and Kashmir is said to be one of the most suitable beekeeping places in India owing to its natural resources and favorable climatic conditions. But despite this fact, the Union Territory imports honey world rupees 8.5 million from other states. The reason being the improper utilization of its potential. But this scenario is about to change as people across territory, especially in Rajori district, are entering into beekeeping either as a hobby or entrepreneurial venture with the help of agriculture department. The nectar collected by the bees from the meadows, orchards, forests and gardens is considered among the finest across the globe. Jammu and Kashmir being home to all of them and the need of very less pesticides on its land creates a favorable atmosphere required for producing organic honey. At present, when people are finding ways to boost immunity against the COVID-19, there is surge in demand for such pure and natural honey. As a result, a number of people in the territory are entering into this lucrative business of honey beekeeping. While many who have been in the business for long are reaping great profits with administration's help. Haji Muhammad Ishaq, a resident of Dandisar village in Rajori's Noshera Tehsil, has been doing honeybee farming for the last 30 years. He said that be it through trainings or subsidies, agriculture department had always supported them. 
गुरजोरी चीफ साहब की तरफ से एप्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट अफसर की तरफ से हमें हर तरफ हर कदम कदम पे हमें वो सहायता मिलती है चाहे कोई सब्सिडी की बात हो चाहे शीट की बात हो चाहे पेटियों की सब्सिडी की बात हो जब जो भी डिमांड हमने दी है गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से जो अवेलेबल है वो हमें हर कदम और हर टाइम पर मिलती है और उनके स्टाफ का एक आदमी भी डिप्यूट किया हुआ है जो हमें नए जो भी जितने भी नए बेनिफिशियल बनते हैं उनको टाइम टाइम पे वो आते हैं और ट्रेनिंग भी देते हैं पहले ट्रेनिंग दे के मधुमक्खी देते हैं उसके बाद भी उनको मदद करने के लिए महीने में पंद्रह दिन के अंदर एक उनका मुलाजम आता है और हर तरह की हमें वो हदायत दे, दे जाता है In the last few years, Dandeser village has become the hub of honeybee farming with as many as 200 farmers involved in this activity and have around 2000 man-made hive boxes. The honey produced here is famous for its pureness as it is a hilly area and has abundance of flowers and vast tracts of horticultural land. The only problem that farmers face is marketing of their honey. They say government should open more avenues to help them sell their produce without much hassle. In logon ki ek demand hai ki yahan marketing nahi hai. Hum log mehnat karte hain, shayad hamare paas hota hai. कम से कम कुछ लोग हैं जिनके पास 30 30 क्विंटल भी शायद होता है लेकिन उसकी मार्केटिंग नहीं है सभी की यही डिमांड है कि यहाँ कोई मार्केटिंग होनी चाहिए इसकी वो ताकि ये लोग जो शायद इनके पास होता है वो एक ही जगह देखें और वो पैसे ले लें पैसे लेके वो अपना कोई कारोबार बढ़ा सकें The authorities in Jammu and Kashmir have also been taking a number of initiatives to give boost to beekeeping industry. At present in Kashmir Valley there are 70000 bee colonies but the government is now planning to take the number to 7 lakh in the next 5 years that could generate employment for 1.14 lakh families. Moreover training centers have also been set up in almost all the districts to conduct demonstration for farmers about honey bees and their management. पहला नंबर तो हमारे डिपार्टमेंट ने लोगों को ट्रेन करने के लिए एक ना डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन कम ट्रेनिंग सेंटर रखे हुए हैं ये तीन सेंटर हैं इनके नाम है एक बुदल का सेंटर है एक दराल का सेंटर है और एक थाना मंडी का सेंटर है इन तीनों में हमने कम से कम एक सौ छत्तीस जो है ना बी हाइव तीन जगह पर अलग अलग जगह पर रखे हुए हैं लोगों को ट्रेन करने के लिए लोगों को डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट करने के लिए कि कैसे कैसे शायद जो ये मक्खी पालन किया जाता है तो इसके अलावा हमारे जो प्राइवेट लोग हैं उन्होंने भी इस यहाँ से ट्रेनिंग लेके तकरीबन 1441 सौ जो है वो रजौरी में इस टाइम लोग ना रेडिंग कर रहे हैं उनमें जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इज एस्टिमेटेड टू प्रोड्यूस अबाउट 70 मेट्रिक टन्स ऑफ हनी एनुअली एंड दिस अमाउंट इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू इंक्रीज इन द कमिंग इयर्स विद नंबर ऑफ यंगस्टर्स इन द टेरिटरी ऑप्टिंग फॉर हनी बी फार्मिंग एज अ सोर्स ऑफ लाइवलीहुड The reason being it does not need much investment apart from pollen and nectar from flowers which is easily available in the territory. Next we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section World in Focus. Shibuya Town in Tokyo is a young fashion center in the capital. It has the best of fashion stuff and is visited by many young people. Many places in this town are famous among foreigners. A famous attraction in this traffic intersection, it is called Shibuya Crossing. It is just outside the main exit of Shibuya Station. There are three pedestrian crossing signposts on the scramble walkway. At one scramble intersection, many people randomly walk across in all directions, but they don't get in the way of each other. Today it is known all over the world as a cityscape that symbolizes the Japanese people. It was first built in 1973. Scramble ni natte kara wa kuruma o subete tomete hito dake ga wataru. Hito dake ga wataru cycle wa ichido shika arimasen no de iron na hokou ni suke na yoni watareru toyu rule ga dekimashita. Sore sore no hokou ni wataru no ni butsukara nai de watareru っていうのが
それからもう少し経つと 2,000 人の人が一つの信号で一度に渡りますその後現在では 3,000 人の人が一番多い時に、えー、一度に渡るというふうなことが世界中に伝わって、えー、有名になった交差点です。This bronze statue of a dog attracts foreign tourists. The dog's name is Hachiko. It kept waiting for his dead owner for years in front of Shibuya Station. Then the bronze statue created to honor Hachiko became a famous meeting spot for visitors in Shibuya. Shibuya now represents one of the modern urban areas in Japan, and with renewal, it will attract foreigners from many countries around the world. As the leaders of G7 began to arrive at the southwestern tip of the UK, on their likeness have also appeared on the site of the Cornish coast. Artist Joey Rush and Alex Rakic created the sculpture nicknamed Mound Recycle Moor of the leaders of the G7 out of electronic waste to highlight the huge amount of tech and gadgets that goes unrecycled globally each year. What we've done here is we've depicted the、um, the seven. Main characters of the G7 conference, with、uh, Boris Johnson on the left and on Joe the far, Biden on, on the, the far、right. left. Yeah, on the far left. Yeah, and、uh, so and you know basically it's to make them, you know, to sort of say, you know, you've got to work together on this one. You've got to、uh, build it into、uh, the way we do things, that we can recycle things, that we can repair things, and that we don't just waste things. They are hoping the sculpture will encourage the seven heads of state to work together to tackle the issue internationally. According to the UN, the 53 million tons of electronic waste generated globally each year will more than double by 2050, making it the fastest-growing waste stream in the world. Most of more than 20,000 waste items for the sculpture came from the company that commissioned the work, Music Macbee, which runs an e-commerce website where people buy and sell second-hand electronic goods. Nakano area is located near the center of Tokyo, where high-rise buildings are lined up. Nakano Sun Mall Shopping Street is a lively arcade shopping street. Every day, people from all generations visit and enjoy shopping here. This place has kept its energy intact and is always buzzing. Although many other shopping arcade streets are on the decline due to big shopping malls and booming internet sales. The car plaque decoration Koinobori is hung from the roof of the arcade and is a cultural custom to celebrate Children's Day. 小学生、保育園児の方たちが手作りの鯉のぼりをこのアーケード内に飾らせてもらっております。とっても大好評で今年で四回目のイベントになります。After passing through its shopping street, there is a shopping area called Nokana Broadway that is popular among foreign tourists. There are many manga comic stores and animation character stores, and it is known as the place where the culture of animation became popular worldwide. The shopping street in Nakano will always be full of people of all generations and many tourists, and it will keep its status as a famous tourist attraction representing Japan. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindiaenin.com. I'm your host Skyrie Manets. Goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.